so much of like a, you know, it, it becomes easier when it's when it's second nature, when it's like, okay, they've got a Reaper. He's going to drop here, 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 here at some point in the map. Even if he's yeah. dead, I need to be aware that he could come up from this spot. You know, it's that weird stuff that just kind of becomes habit, I guess. Alumni versus well, students and, um, is a good idea. I do agree with that. Alumni with staff, rather. <laughs> and, and, and it's one of those things that comes with a lot of practice and a lot of coordination, which is, yet again, one of the fun, in quotations, <laughs> and fun meaning interesting things about <laughs> collegiate esports is teams are changing all the time, and especially right. a team like Cherry State. Mm -hmm. You know, unlike unlike where you're going, you know, Ak Akron, we don't have coaches here. You know, <laughs> so, that's true. Uh, we we uh, it's it's all. I'm, I'm just teasing you, but we you know we it's a student club, so there's no coaches to drill that into them. That just is going to be basically individual playing experience and an occasional practice. So it's um. And I mean, it, it, you know, a lot of it comes from, uh, you know, how much of a drive you have. If you're getting a full ride scholarship to play Overwatch, I bet you're going to put in a few more. Extra yeah, hours, you'll put it a little more. Yeah. You know, because <laughs> you don't have to go get a job during college. You can you can be like, ah, I don't have to work. I've got the scholarship. I better work at Overwatch. You and, were born in the wrong generation. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, man. <laughs> at least was, we get to see it and we get to commentate on it. At least. I was 20 years younger. <laughs> 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 at least we get to see it but uh speaking of seeing collegiate esports racers here we go blizzard world this is the map to to bring it back for the reverse sweep i like this play from the racers they're gonna go ahead and be mobile here and push to this spot lunar thought they were going up top you see them Super lobbing it in my goodness oh i like this backdoor strat here i don't know if lunar's read it they have brian hart's engaging here frontline duel Racers pushing in on the point, already contesting. They need to be careful. Immortality field. Pop to protect the Genji. Dirty Paws getting a pick on Jacket. Once Ooh. again, we'll see Dirty Paws and Jacket with the same rolls. Bonsai, now he's showing up big on the Genji, getting a pick on Salgum. Murray State, one more pick. I think that will swing the team fight here. Reaper, he's so low. Dirty Paws takes there him down. Flop takes down another one, and the Racers will most likely take this point. Very good play from the Racers there. I love that they they take that back route. I'm surprised that they take the long back route, but it makes a lot of sense because people expect that that short back route. You know, they they practice the short back route. They don't practice the long back route. Uh, two things I want to say. One, I like how quickly they switched from the they were they looked like they were going to go up top, went down low, and then went behind. I think I don't know, but I think they exposed enough of their uh, their little heroes there that the other team saw them to fake them out. Right. I don't know if that was intentional or not. And two, kudos to the team because in one of their practices and scrimmages, I've seen them working on this play. Glad to see it pay off here. And you can tell that it's been a confidence booster now. The races are pushing forward here. Yeah, they're doing they might... great now. They're uh, pushing the payload forward. They're just keeping it going. I like seeing on her on the Lucio as well. This is a great support for this map. Mercy has to withstand the aim bot that is Bob. And they will go ahead and back up here. Unfortunately, not enough support to deal with it and all the additional damage. Just too much happening at once. But a, a decent distance pushed on the payload here, and they'll just continue to poke and prod here at this uh, archway here. They're going to have to be careful, though, Ooh. on her, just getting caught out a little bit. So once again, they're going to have to wait. They're staggered again. So racers... Oh, and Looter knows it. They're going to push forward with Reinhardt here and, and engage here. They just have to be careful and not get caught out as they transition into this open area. Which will um, you know, really benefit Jacket. We've seen him on the Widowmaker now. He's on Ash, and uh, he can punish them here if they're not careful. There's a Shatter. Nobody, nobody caught out from the Shatter. Bob from Murray State placed down in front of the payload. Now it's their turn with the aimbot. Reaper trying to retreat. On her is able to find him. Good pick from Murray State's Lucio. Telgum just trying to do everything he can, but Bonsai takes him down. Now the racers can push forward on this payload a little more, except for the nuisance that is Lucio on the payload. Yeah. Ooh, might have been a slight misclick there on the bad T stall. Meanwhile, Bonsai though, getting uh, getting two. I, I think Emily probably she saw the health bars, mm. and she saw the health icons Using and wanted to pop that to get a little. Of yeah. The I think, and, and she probably didn't need to, but in the heat of the moment, I, I probably would have done the same thing. Yeah, definitely. I f honestly forgot that it helps lose health, too, so I would have been the, the worst bad piece. <laughs> You're just trying to shoot through that, man. It's like, 
I need healing. Sean, yeah. what are you doing? Brrr, I would have just been laying down damage. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right quick healing. my bad. I forgot I'm a healer. Yeah. I have that problem so much now with Biggie. <laughs> uh, well, she's, you know, she's best when she's just wrecking stuff anyway. Yep. That's that's the Brigitte we like to see. Yep. So, Murray State. Ooh, I like what I'm seeing here. Okay. Fav just crouching out here. Let's see what happens here. The racers... Until they've been practicing Blizzard World Strats a little bit, they're regrouping. Here comes Ash. Gonna go ahead and push forward here. I kind of thought maybe we'd see a little back line. Push. Nobody ever seems to go that way. Shatter from Lunar. I think that found two or three. They're gonna push forward. Yeah. Immortality field will kind of prevent Murray State from a total team wipe here, but Chief being down is a huge pick. And Murray State will have to very uh, be very careful here. Ooh, clean kill from Dirty Paws. Oh, Dirty Paws just trying to be super aggressive here, popping that dynamite and just forcing the bubble out. Now he can retreat. They've got Bob ready. I thought maybe they were going to go that way that Dirty Paws was just facing, that little back way. I thought maybe they were going to go that way. You don't see a whole lot of teams do that. You really don't. He's just trying to, you can tell just by the hesitation. Oh, here they go. Here they go. Okay. They're going to push out through this way. I think Lunar will have read it by now. Yeah, they're on the top. They're ready for it. Bob in the back line. Trading Bob's here. Murray State's going to have to focus. They got to shut down that Bob right away. Anna as well. Dirty Paws, he's low on health. Bonsai has found two with his ult. Dirty Paws taking down Bob. Very nice from the races there. Good flank. They do have to be careful, though, because right where that oh, oh, Zarya is, oh, they spawn oh, a chief with the final oh, strike of the century. Oh, really? Oh. Play from Dirty Paws. What was going on there? My goodness. Telgum trying to charge Chief back into the payload for that damage, but Dirty Paws used his uh, little uh, boost or wh whatever you call that. Little, the shotgun. Uh, oh. Yeah, that little shotgun blew him back. Nice, nice idea from him. I did not know that interaction happened. That was a really good play. Some crazy tactics coming out from these racers. Really putting up everything that they can and, and really stepping up to the occasion here so far. Just under two minutes as we enter the final stage of this map three, Blizzard World. Racers in blue, Lunar in red. Chief, his shield is so low. Immortality field again popped by the racers, but they will be forced to retrieve Death Blossom pop. Two down. Dirty Paul shuts them down from a third. But the racers still have to back up and regroup here. They don't need any more picks. We need to just regroup and uh, and take this. Now, this is um, an interesting stage of the map. We've seen two good flanks from the racers. Mm -hmm. This is a hard part of the map where you cannot really flank very easily. Nope. No, you just kind of go off the edge. <laughs> I mean, there is a way you flank on the right, but with how aggressive Lunar is being here. Oh, huge shatter. That's found at least two or three. Oh, Immortality oh, my saving goodness. the day. Immortality field keeping down. Now Chief might be able to counter that. He's waiting for that shield to go down. He's going to pop it here in just a second. There's a Graviton. Shatter will probably follow. They're just doing the damage. Oh, my goodness. Chief won't even need it. Bonsai Beautiful. Chief honored. Beautiful. Great teamwork from the racers. Another fire strike. His chief takes down Dante, and the racers might be in route to go 3 0 on round three. one. Yes, amazing play. Uh, yeah, maybe Chief needs to play some Widow every once in a while because his accuracy <laughs> is, is on, on, on point for me. Chief punishing Ana again, and now <laughs> Chief is just in the back of Lunar, which is uh, fun to watch, and he's causing a lot of havoc, but he needs to be mindful that he needs to protect damage for his team, and there he is. He's back in the spot. They're pushing forward. Zarya is so low. Go ahead and get that pick. Tracer, we hear her on the payload as well. They need to shut that down. So close. 2.51 meters. Immortality field. Keep oh, the racers alive. Another fire strike snipe. It's just, <laughs> how does he even get those? It, it feels like I'm having epilepsy watching his stream. And I, just... I've left the POV on him, and I'm just like, people are going to get sick. It's left and right and left and right, and then a fire strike and someone dies, and this is... Wow, that was a great run by the racers there. I mean, everyone was playing top of their game. I had it on Flav Rock and the Zarya. He knows how to rotate those shields. He's keeping his charge at 90 plus for a real long amount of time. Dirty paws on that ash. My gosh, his accuracy with just hitting those dynamites. 
sniping people and using that shotgun multiple tactical advantages there pushing people forward getting himself out of the way brilliance blizzard world is the 2020 version of uh king's row in previous semesters <laughs> yeah. for the right showing up being here in now murray state you can see their intentions yeah well, we are gonna have the double shield Arista Sigma, Junkrat lobbing in those grenades from Bonsai. Dirty Paws will stick with Ash. Meanwhile, Emily will stick with Baptiste and a Zenyatta from on her. You know, you got to hunker down here because I think the the defense that they ran the last time in Blizzard World worked really well for them. And it keeps people from going back door. It keeps people from coming up the front. It's your all around good safety defense position. You know, as long as they don't have overwhelming firepower. This is a great defense. So here we go. Round two. Map three. Lunar must make it all the way to the end to extend this into extra time. If Murray State win here, it'll be two to one, and we'll go on to the next uh, map, the next game. Bonsai early pick on Jacket, who's running May. It looks like Lunar is running a Reinhardt, Azaria, Lana, Lucio, Reaper, and May. Let's see here if Lunar will take a similar path of rotation here. I do like that Murray State is playing a little more forward than Lunar was. It allows them to read the movements with a little more ease here. Mm -hmm. Lunar must figure out which way they're going to go here. They're going to actually try to head towards, it looks like, the same path. But no, they've changed their mind. Murray State will have to jump down all at the same time. 30 Paws gets that pick on Jacket, so there's an advantage. They're going to do it here. Immortality Field covering their movement. Great teamwork from the racers here, but they are going to have to keep those tanks alive with any help to win this fight. Immortality Field taken down by Haru. Electro. Electrobotic taking down on her. Now Murray State is in trouble here. That's one healer down, but Emily has enough healing as Baptiste to keep him alive. She can stay alive herself, but she's picked off by the Reaper who saw that opportunity to change the course of the fight. And now the racers are going to lose this first point once the Chief falls. And they will have to uh, go ahead and uh, get ready for another defense, but I think... I may be wrong here. I think Lunar's going to push up quite a bit. Yeah, more than likely they will push up and play the, the aggressor again. They need all the all the time on the clock they can possibly manage. Oh yeah, they've they've pushed up here past the little uh, Terran cannon there, the tank. Bonsai engaged with the team on this right hand side. They've they've come through the top, kind of oh. like the racers tried originally. Big Shatter Chief down. He's going to jump off to stay alive his health is so low on her just trying to keep him alive but that was a big anti coming in from lunar bonsai did find telgum though which will allow the racers to regroup they're gonna have to be mindful though they do have a reaper in the back line just causing havoc the racers are, are kind of spread out right now just trying to decide uh who to take down you can see i'm watching from on her's perspective and he's having to switch between or was having to switch between two different locations to heal there yeah, and it's really tough with the Zenyatta because, you know, you really only get to heal one target. So, you know, people get kind of comfortable having that uh, that healing orb on them. And then when you take it off, they start freaking out a little bit. They get a little nervous. Good orb management from on her. It's allowing the racers to get their picks. They can push up to the payload a little bit here. Oh, nice, nice attempt there from on her to get the pick. They still got to watch out for that Reaper, though. Bonsai respawning, heading back into the fight momentarily. Meanwhile, Dirty Paws, they got Bob ready. Two ults ready for Murray State. Unfortunately, we do not know for sure what they have on the lunar side. And I can see Dirty Paws, I like this awareness. He's checking his back line. They've, they've been made aware that Reaper is going to be doing that. Of course, there he is. Good dynamite from Dirty Paws. Takes him down. Bob providing reinforcements for the racers, but will it be enough as three were taken down? Dirty Paws popping off. There's another one as well. Can he finish oh it off? And what a spray. Great work from him as the racers maintain this defense. Oh yeah, I caught the last bit of that. Just just happened to catch him use the spray to get harder, and that was just beautiful. I think the racers have finally found their, uh, their hit scan player. <laughs> And he can only improve from here. Do you do you know off the top of your head is he a freshman sophomore? Uh, you know off the top of my head, I do not know. I'm wanting to say sophomore. I feel like Dirty Paws has been around a while in the Discord. But I know he wasn't um, in the A-team originally. 
Right. Uh, Lincoln's you finding one there with his ult. So maybe a couple years left here. I mean, he can improve from here and really lead this team as their hit scan hero. He's gonna he's gonna fall here. There's nowhere for him to go. Yep. And that's Good defense from Murray State though. Yeah, that's gonna get a bit that second point for sure. I don't think there's much Murray State can do here to stop this. Yep. No, and you you can see. I mean. Chief is just throwing in some fire strikes for the heck of it and covering his team, but they're going to go ahead and reroute here. Try to hold this defense. They've got to be mindful, though. Reapers uh, only... Well, now he's changed from Reapers, so never mind. Only Genji has switched over to McCree. So a change for Lunar. There will not be any more flanking Reapers, but there might be a McCree. The Chief with that fire strike again. All the ults coming in. Two Gravitons, two shields up. Oh, There's my. a sleep as well. Now Bonsai with his Rip Tire. And Murray State outlasting Lunar here. They can push forward and hold right at this arch. Yeah, I mean, this is a tough spot, too, because you're not getting any of that extra time tick off the clock because the spawn is really close to the payload right now. I kind of recommend that if the racers could be more aggressive, they should be more aggressive and keep them in spawn longer. You know, but you've got to play that really cautious. Emily popping the immortality field. Uh, I thought it was a little too early, but it actually worked out well because she was taken down by a flanking <laughs> McCree. I said there would be no more flanks from Genji. I was wrong. Uh, he's he's choosing to be very mobile as that McCree. Uh, Lunar moving forward quite a bit here. We've got plenty of time on the clock as well, so the racers have to put in a lot of defense here, although they may just go ahead and chalk it and, and go for the next uh, round. I don't think they're going to be too concerned based on how well they played on offense last time, but they obviously don't want it to go to that. That's a big shatter. Kept alive by the Transcendence of Honor, well-timed. Two minutes on the clock. Graviton coming in for Lunar. That's health low for the racers. Telgum finds Dirty Bozzy, finds the cheap. Bonsai Emily down as well, and we will be heading to extra time. Yep, they are going to get that in. and Abyss is going to have a lot more. <laughs> Score. I forget how this works. Does it go to... The one with time remaining first or the one with no time remaining first? Who has to work harder? I believe that... Um, the racers have to earn it, don't they? I, who made it? Oh, wait, did they... Oh, wait, they, yeah, they both made it to three, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Who had more time on the clock? Uh, Lunar Abyss. Okay, then I think Lunar Abyss has to go first. Do they? It shows a minute 54 on the clock. I'm pretty sure they'll have to. Oh, yeah. To. Lunar Abyss is going first. So yeah. Racer can can hold. Uh, uh, now, they'll only have to tick one, won't they? They don't even have to take the entire point. Well, they both made it to three, right? So I'm pretty sure that Lunar will get to go. Now, I'm going to be honest. Overtime still throws me for a loop. It really does. So I think, though, and chat can tell me if I'm wrong here. But I believe that they're gonna have to go and they get as far as they can go and then and then Murray State will have to beat it in order to win. Because they both made it to three. Okay. Well, them going both going to three is the only way overtime happens, right? Well I guess if you both made it to two and ran out of time. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you, I mean, you could both yeah, make no, it look, to like two. They only have to take the first part of this part. Oh, yeah, yeah, just the, just the first. The okay, racers right. have to work wrong. for two minutes. I don't mind an easy ride. Whew. So, Murray State, you would have much preferred, if you're a racer fan, <laughs> for them to do offense. But Murray State, I think they're going to play aggressive here. Meanwhile, if you look at the lineup of <laughs> Lunar, it, it looks like they're more suited for a payload here. They've got Bastion and a Mercy. Murray State may have a little bit of advantage here in the beginning, but, you know, Bastion, he's going to provide that massive damage here, but Murray State can use the uh, scenery as cover. The mortality field keeping them alive. Only Kenji finds on her. He's going to have to regroup very quickly. Bonsai trading. 5v5 here in this initial team fight. The team is scattered. They're going to have to be mindful and listen to their shot callers. Huge ice wall prevents Emily from doing a little bit of extra damage. She's trying to keep Junkrat alive. Big healing grenades. Chief charging in. Huge charge from him. His health is low, though. He's going to back up. He's healed. Good rotation from the Zarya from Fluffilf to go forward there. But health is dwindling for the racers. They don't have on her quite in the fight yet. He's probably in it by now. Immortality field. Shatter oh, ready. big tire. Here's the shatter. Racers find one with the rip tire. And now Chief finds Dante and racers maintaining their hold. 40 seconds remaining. Let's go, racers. How many ults we got available? We got Emily's ult available, so that's damage. I really like watching um, um, 
Chief there swinging that hammer, basically wall banging all of Valorant, but with the Reinhardt hammer. <laughs> I didn't realize it would clip through, but it does seem to do that. If you're a uh, Lunar Abyss fan here and you lose this map, I feel like you've got to be questioning the decision to run the Bastion. Uh, it, it's providing a lot of damage, but right away, see, he's not mobile. He's picked off. There's the revive used by Haru. He's revived. He find, Jacket finds one. He finds two. My words may be coming back to haunt me as Lunar takes over the point and steamrolls the racers. And sadly, despite all their effort, 3 0 to Lunar Abyss. That is GG, everybody. I Heartbreaking. Th I think I know why they went with that. Oh, hang on. There's a Brigitte play the game. Oh, uh, yeah, everybody. Everywhere. Everybody, slow down here. Tiger Mask will need a minute. Yeah, no, that's right. Just keep swinging away. Yep. Play the game. Perfect. It's pretty much like a, a Bastion left click play of the game, you know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> GG to Lunar Abyss. He's on Ash. And uh, you can punish them here if they're not careful. There's a shatter. Nobody nobody caught out from the shatter. Mob from Murray State. Placed down in front of the payload. Now it's their turn with the aimbot. Reaper trying to retreat. On her is able to find him. Good pick from Murray State's Lucio. Telgum just trying to do everything he can. But Bonsai takes him down.